a T-Mobile Revel tablet. I'm going to show you two ways to take a screenshot, also how to take a scrolling screenshot. The most common way to take a screenshot is a two key combination. It's the power button and the volume down. Power button, volume down, press both buttons at the same time and let go. Take a screenshot you can share or edit here. Every time you take a screenshot, it'll get saved automatically into your Photos app right here. So if I tap on that right there, just so make sure I'm at Photos, and then I have a camera folder and I have my screenshots folder. And that last screenshot I just took is right there. Another way to take a screenshot is, let's say for example, I open up my settings here. Okay, I'll open that up and now I'll close it. Oops, let me go back here. And then I'm gonna close it. And now if I go to my Recents menu, if I slide down here and just go halfway up, it'll bring up everything that's open. And this one here was open, right? I can take a screenshot right here as well. I can tap screenshot, boom. I can share or edit right there as well, okay? You can also take a screenshot if you have your Google Assistant um, set up. You can say, hey Google, take a screenshot. Or you can go ahead and just press this button here. Sorry, that was my other Google Assistant, but you can do the hey Google, or you can press and hold the power button. And then if your assistant set up, you can just say, take a screenshot, okay? But mine is not set up. Anyway, I don't have mine set up here. Now let me show you how to take a scrolling screenshot. So for example, let's open up a browser. I'll open up Chrome here. And let's say we want to take a uh, screenshot of this web page here, parts of it or whatnot. So instead of taking multiple screenshots, we can take one big one. So we'll do this. Screenshot, power button, volume down. And then... You see capture more we'll tap that right there and give it one second okay now you can see the whole page right there now we can go ahead and we can line up however much we want so let's just say we want this here and we want to go down there just like that let's say we want that one screenshot and then you want to tap on save right there and now it automatically gets saved again directly into your photos app so let me go to photos app here in that last one we just took Oh, it wasn't that one. Oh, it just popped up here. And you can see that one screenshot right there. So pretty simple.